Hello and welcome to Steering the Right Course, the second of two programmes about learning behaviour strategies. And I'm joined today by a panel of learning behaviour specialists. But first, a word from Sir Alan Steer, the man who's been dubbed the government's discipline czar. With his task force of fellow heads and teachers, he produced a substantial report making over 80 recommendations. If we want respect from young people, we have to show them respect. And that has to be shown in the way that we treat them and in the way that we help to organise their lives. Well, in our first programme, we saw how practitioners in the primary sector have already adopted many of Sir Alan's main principles. They're taking a consistent and positive approach in which pupils are mentored and nurtured within a set of rules and sanctions. As we saw in programme one, getting the school ready for the child is something Sir Alan Steer applauded. Right, thank you for letting us do a home visit. Home visits like this help tailor the school to the individual needs of the child. By observing David at play and talking to his mother, an assessment is made of his social and learning skills. This school arranges happy parenting classes for mums who have been having problems with their children's behaviour. We talk to parents about sharing feelings, about talking about their own feelings and their own needs. Nurture groups help vulnerable children improve their behaviour. The six children that we had earlier on in the group, um, if you'd have seen them back in September, um, they were dire. Um, all of this was is really unacceptable behaviour. For those children who have difficulty reading emotions, there's the SEAL programme. The whole of the SEAL um, programme changes behaviour. It's a, a vehicle for really having something sustained that's going to last that child through their career. And here, a scheme called Cool Friends helps children who've been caught bullying or fighting. It's just a place for the children to come, have fun, um, it just encourages good behaviour through and through. Underpinning all of this is a consistent set of classroom rules, sanctions and rewards. We do reward children who change their behaviour, we reward them well. And we give out a lot of stickers, a lot of badges, so that our children almost fall it over with the badges. <laughs> Now let's get some reaction to that from our panel. Well, we've seen what's going on at primary level and with parents getting people involved. Now, Barry, Barry Morley, can you tell me what you think we can learn from primary practitioners? Um, I think in the, in the secondary, certainly there is a lot less contact with parents um, from what I can gather goes on in primary schools. I think that the very fact that parents obviously regularly pick up their children, they're in school all the time, there's constantly uh, interaction going on. At secondary school we tend to lose that, obviously all our pupils or the vast majority travel independently and therefore we lose that face-to-face -face contact. Val, your children have been through primary and are now in, in secondary school. How have you found the differences between the two? Um, when they come into secondary school, the children are more independent and they don't want to be seen with mum. <laughs> so the contact is lost <laughs> and it is very difficult that every, if you've got concerns to keep on pestering the school. So there is that little bit of worry, you know, that the contact's not there as it is in primary school. Yeah, yeah. Now, Pip, you've got a lot of innovative things going on, I know, at your school. Can you tell me a bit about some of the things you do to bring parents into contact? Yes, we, we try very hard, obviously, from the time the children start to welcome the parents in so that they're there. They can come in, they, stay in, they can stay in the nurse. We have a foundation unit now so that the children start at three part-time and then the parents can stay they can stay all day so we're actually supporting families as well as the children thanks for that well when we interviewed sir alan he summed up his approach to learning behavior in a typically robust manner the joy of being a teacher is to try and resolve problems for children and to help them develop and that applies just as much to behavior as it does to any other aspect of education at Four Dwellings High School in Quinton, they've been keen to learn lessons from primary. The school motto, Every Child Matters, sums up their approach. They started by reorganising the management structure, giving assistant head teacher status to Barry Morley. He's become behaviour for learning manager, supporting pupils who might otherwise be vulnerable. Your last referral was back in March, so for 
for over two months now, mm -hmm. we've had uh, no negative feedback at all. What do you think the reason behind that is? Um, just a lot of help that I've had really. It's like sometimes I'll come off basketball practice mm -hmm. and then I'll think about what I really want to do and just make sure I have my education first before I do other things. Mm. Pupils like to know where the line is drawn. If the pupil knows what they can do safely without getting in trouble, then I think they can That's deal with that. Much. I think where people struggle, and certainly our people struggle, is where they feel the goalposts move. So if there's a consistent approach and they know what sanctions will be used as a result of, of, of breaching those rules or those expectations, our pupils respond very well to it. I certainly think there are very, very strong lessons secondaries can learn from primary. And um, a theme of, uh, in our report was that they need to do so. One such lesson is getting the curriculum right, and at four dwellings they shape the courses to support pupils like Josh by offering vocational options including bricklaying and plumbing. A lot of the students that come to us, um, they may know the six wires of Henry VIII, but they don't particularly know how to read a tape measure. Now, you're not really going to get a job knowing that Anne Boleyn was beheaded, um, but a tape measure is something you can use in every aspect of life. So, you know, it's, it's something that we need to work a little bit harder with the schools and just try and gear some of their lessons towards real life skills that they could use, whether it's in construction or whether it's in an office environment or anything like that. Josh is discovering new skills and his performance in class has improved, particularly after the school's family learning mentor paid a visit to his home. Immediately once a home visit is made, there's an improvement because the boy or girl really doesn't like the idea of me coming into their house. So instantly, to prevent that from happening, they'll, they'll behave themselves in school. All I want you to do is highlight that and change it to red, and I'll show you this, I'll show you how to do this, okay? And parents get involved one, by going back to school with their own children. Aerial, Family aerial, learning aerial, schemes aerial, like this are running all over the country okay, so and are proving to be aerial, highly effective. Normally what you find is that the parents are helping the children and they're actually, the, the parents are trying to help them with their maths or the, you know, their, their literacy. But with the computers, the children are actually showing the parents what to do and again that boosts their morale and makes them feel, you know, what, what they do actually learn at school is worthwhile and they do have something to show their parents. I find it interesting because uh, I find out exactly what she's learning. Obviously I'm learning with her and it helps towards the, the other children I've got at home as well. So I'll, I do enjoy it. You see an interaction that you wouldn't normally see and it shows you about how they get on at home and you know, how they actually talk to each other and so on. It gives you more of an insight into the child. It has a knock-on effect actually. It's not only supporting me with my learning but I'm also supporting him as well and it's working very, very well indeed. Involving parents in their children's education was a key feature of the STEER report and Four Dwellings is already pursuing other STEER suggestions by reinforcing parental responsibility, publishing a clear behaviour strategy and discouraging the use of mobile phones. As a parent, I was a bit you know, apprehensive about being in the same school as my son, but to be honest with you, it's worked extremely well. Um, the teaching staff are approachable and they're there on hand if there's any concerns and helps. And they do actually work with parents. And obviously parents come in and they work within the family learning. And I've actually seen parents come in and go on to doing actual qualifications at the end of their course. And I understand that here you're, you're doing some work with um, extending the curriculum. Can yes, we, uh, on site we at Queen's Own they do the Construction Academy, which um, enables pupils, not just from our school, from schools in the whole cluster, whole network of schools, to come in and access construction, plumbing, bricklaying, carpentry, tiling. Um, so things that you wouldn't find on, on a normal um, school timetable maybe. There's also a hairdressing academy, there's a horticulture centre, um, there's health and social care, and then off-site at uh, our other, well, at Hales Own College and I think Bourneville College, there's things like motor vehicle studies right. um, as well. So you're so thinking about how children who perhaps have very challenging behaviour mm. can be channeled, have their energies channeled into you know, a positive manner. We, we, we all have examples, but you know, every child is different and mm. you can't have a one shape fits all mentality. You have to, I think, model your curriculum 
and in some ways model you, you know, your interactions to the individual. And can you tell me about some rewards that you're using? I think you're using a few unusual things here. Uh, we have a referral system which goes on a, a computer, which means anything can be logged, positive, negative or indifferent, which means we get a real profile of the child, of, of what their yeah, activities yeah. are. Uh, we tried to contact home as often as possible. So what we introduced was some um, postcards. Uh -huh. Very simple to write, very quick to do. And what we try to do is make sure that all staff send out at least one postcard a week. Right. But again, it's actually reinforcing the, yeah. the good behaviour. It's amazing, just a piece of paper, mm. what it can do to a child's self-esteem. Mm. Yes. It really does make them want to work and it gets them focused as well. If they know they've got a reward coming at the end of it, they will work for it. Now, something I spotted in that report, which I thought was fascinating, was he mentioned mobile phones. <laughs> I heard one story of a parent phoned a child in the middle of a lesson, and the child answered the phone and said, well, I'm actually in French now, this. And the teacher said, well, can I have your phone, please? I'd like to speak to your mum. <laughs> I think if your child's got to travel, Right. There's that safety idea mm -hmm. that yeah. if, they're into, if they get into difficulties, they've got the phone there to yeah. phone, yeah. or if they're going to be late for any reason, it stops mum worrying, basically. Maybe a phone crash when they yeah. come into school, which yeah. is what yeah. we have. Their phones. Is that what you this have? This is what we yeah, have. Tell me about primary. Yes, we, How do you do yeah, with I mean, it? We, you know, particularly yeah. with the year sixes, they bring them in, they're in a safe place, they can't get lost, they sign them in, they sign them out, and everything works. And at the end of the day, they just come and they're given back and yeah. they go off home but quite again, safely. A, a secondary school. It's a different <laughs> ball game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a different ball game. <laughs> now, um, the steer report's got lots of really good things in it, but do we feel that there's anything new? Is he telling us what we already know? Is he telling us what we already do? Pip, what do you think? Yes, I think he was telling us what we already know, but it is very nice to see it written down in one report. Yeah, I found a lot of the case studies very interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't think there was very much new at all, but again, a lot of um, confirmation of what you're doing was on the right lines. A lot of nice, simple ideas. Um, mm. As a subsequence, I, I put out a, a class rules and expectations sheet right. talking about what the child can expect from the teacher yep. right. and what the teacher and what the school can expect from the child. Really nice and simple, A4 document. And I think that came out of one of the case studies um, that, you know, modelling good practice. So that was really, really useful. Excellent, excellent. And Val, you've seen both sides of the coin. What do you think? Well, like Barry said, when, he, when you do the, the... If you put it out on paper, then you've got something to refer back to. I found that most, mm. most useful. I think it's nice for a parent to be kept informed. Yes. Yes. That is the most important thing, that we're not just left out in the dark. I think we'd, we need more contact, probably, in some cases. But it's nice to know that we can work together. Well, thank you all for your contributions. There's been some really fascinating things that you've talked about and some really great new ideas. I mean, really, there's no magic wand when it comes to behaviour. As Sir Alan says, it's about teaching, learning, behaviour, all coming together. But there's no one solution. But we will finish with a final word from Sir Alan Steer on his report and on what he thinks about learning behaviour. We must never demonise young children. We have a responsibility to help them learn, and that means learning in the sense of behaviour as well as in education. 